All right. Well, some quite frankly brutal news uh, if you're a Bengals fan or if you're just a fan of football. We saw Joe Burrow get banged up uh, in the game against the Ravens. He ended up having to leave the game. And, uh, you know, at first it seemed like a tough injury given where the Bengals were at, but maybe not a season ender. And we actually got some, I thought, positive news that night as it seemed like the wrist injury, uh, I forget exactly what they uh, defined it as now. But, you know, when I Googled it, it said the average, uh, you know, return time is like one to three weeks. So I was thinking, okay, that's not terrible. Now, again, the Bengals are, you know, currently five and five. So they're in a tough spot in that scenario. But there's there's room to get uh, you know, it's it's not the end of the world, I guess I should, should say. It's not a death sentence. However, I uh, had an MRI last night, and it was the uh, worst-case scenario. Uh, he has a torn ligament, uh, which I'm assuming is in his wrist. Uh, it didn't explicitly say that, but I don't know where, you know, unless it was some other injury. I'm assuming it's the wrist injury. There's some torn ligament there, meaning he is out for the year. Uh, again, who knows how long the recovery time is on this stuff people, doctors, but like, I don't know. Uh, so, you know, we'll see how, you know, that all works out. But as of right now, um, that's definitely a, you know, a, a tough situation here for the Cincinnati Bengals. And, and you know, several things to talk about. First, it sucks to go through an injury. I feel bad for Joe Burrow. I wish him the best in his recovery. Uh, but from the football side of things, not only are, listen, Zach Taylor said, hey, Jake Browning coming in, uh, our season is not over. I think the season's over. Maybe Jake Browning will, listen, maybe he'll be the Brock Purdy of this season, right? Who knows? But I'm not putting much faith in just an un completely unproven quarterback. Didn't show a lot in his one game against the Ravens. A tough situation. I don't know how many quarterbacks would show a lot in that situation. But still, um, for Joe Burrow, though, he just means so much to the Bengals offense. You can't really replace a top five quarterback unless you get another top five quarterback. Uh, and, you know, they were really, I mean, they, they were five and four with him this season. I do think the year is is probably over. Who knows? But I think the year is probably over for the Cincinnati Bengals. And that brings us to the future where Joe Burrow's contract is starting to get a lot heavier. You know, his cap hit was $19 million this year because uh, he was still the first overall pick. You get paid a good chunk of money when you're the first overall pick. Uh, but his fifth year option, since he has made a Pro Bowl, will be $29 million actually closer to $30 million, uh, next year. So again, totally worth it for Burrow, but you're starting to pay a little bit more. And then we get into the you know years where you're paying him $45 to $50 million a year in terms of cap hits. So because of that, you know, this was kind of, I don't want to say your last year, because again, you're only paying him 10 more this next year, but you also have to factor in T. Higgins, who was drafted in the same draft class. He's a free agent. He was a second rounder, so no fifth year option there. Uh, you know, what do you do with him? He's not had his best year. Do you pay him? Maybe you don't have to pay him as much as he would you would have if he had his best year, uh, but he's still going to get a lot of money. I mean, he's, you know, someone's going to pay him at least $20 million a year, probably more. So either you lose T. Higgins or you're now having to pay that much for him as well. It puts you in a tough situation. So, um, yeah, just devastating blow here for the Bengals and what might be, I don't want to say the last year of their window, but uh, it's just, you know, it's tough. So, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.